little lambs. Hey again, uh, welcome to another video. Today's going to be a Rob vlog. Haven't done one of these for a while, so I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I tried, tried to do one of these uh, Wednesday, so four or five days ago, and it did not end well. Uh, I shall, I'll insert some of the footage. Yeah, so as you can see, that's why I uh, that's why I didn't bother publishing it. I tried putting subtitles and stuff, but it was way too much work. It was like a 25 minute long video. So that was a 22, 23 kilometer run and uh, a really nice run, but super windy. Could barely stand up. So I was just trying a little bit of the Wu2K course, which will hopefully be my next race, but with the way coronavirus is, uh, spreading I kind of doubt it's going to be going on, go, going going on to be honest so we'll see how that goes so today uh, I'm doing Battle Hill it's it's a Sunday so it's a nice chill day it's a super nice day today actually really nice weather I'll just show you so I've just come over the top from there it starts at a farm it's a 6k loop up a hill and back down again with about I think it's 550 vert something like that actually you can see the top from here that little grass area at the top of the hill is, is the top of that hill so we run it's a loop um i'm running it anti-clockwise today which is uh the harder direction i think because clockwise is the up is a little bit less steep but it goes on a bit further you know it's a bit longer the uh, anti-clockwise is steeper but short uh joe's gonna go around it once clockwise i'm doing it twice anti-clockwise so um yeah we'll see how we go it's a two and a half k out to it and two and a half k back so with two loops it ends up being sort of 17k somewhere around there um, so yeah it's a really nice day and uh just thought i'd do a quick vlog to see how things are going yeah so that video i, I filmed i'm not going to be able to not going to be able to rescue the footage and uh to be honest it's really hard to film running videos because um particularly if you want to talk to camera because the, the wind and everything else is a problem and you want to carry a proper microphone but then you've got a weight restriction of what you can carry and so on so it does make it tricky to do these types of videos um just trying to remember all the stuff i covered on that last vlog that i didn't get to didn't get to make um yeah so hopefully we'll be doing the Wu2K but i don't think it'll be going ahead the one after that would be the tower we're 100 so at the moment i'm just piling on elevation that's why i'm doing battle hill because the Wu2K has a lot of elevation on it um and just doing a slowly up in my weekly mileage um i had a week off after the Wu2K and then now i'm back to full training again basically um yeah, you can see Tunnel Gully here. This is the uh, the new motorway they're building, which is a bit of a shame, I guess. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Can't be helped. It'd be nice when it's finished, I guess, for the commute times. I don't know if you're coming on the video, but there's Joe in the distance there. A little, <laughs> a little big dot that's running. Just a little bit behind me. Yeah, one thing I would say about Battle Hill is uh, bring a windbreaker. I didn't do that today, but it's very warm today, but it's super windy at the top usually, particularly in autumn and winter, it can be real cold up there. And, uh, sorry, I'm just getting, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> Filming a vlog over here, guys. And uh, the second thing is you've got to be prepared to get wet feet because uh, there's a stream crossing here, which I'm just about to run to. Um, you can stay dry if it's the top of summer and the stream's quite low, which it is today. So well, I can probably get across this without getting wet feet. I'll just show you. That's interesting, actually. Since uh, last year, there used to be a lot of uh, roots and stuff here. Let me just cross this. Whoop. There used to be a lot of roots and stuff, and it looks like the farmer has put some extra, extra gravel, which makes that a bit narrower, which is... That's good because I used to have to get wet feet there, which sucks. That's nice. But yeah, you probably you might get wet feet, particularly in winter. So um yeah, be careful of that. Right. This is the split. You can go left or you can go right. And I'm going right, which will be 
anti-clockwise. So here we go. There's going to be a certain bit, a certain amount of walking on this because it is really steep. 13, 14, 15 percent in places. Oh, we'll see how we go. All right, small steps, small steps, high cadence. Here we go. It's a four-wheel drive, apart from the very top, which is a bit of single track. It's mostly forest access road. It is real steep. The heart rate will be up in the 170s plus, all the way up this hill. These beautiful fans. Yeah, so sorry about not getting one out last weekend. Uh, hopefully the Zwift cycling will start up soon and uh, fill in some of the gaps. It is kind of tricky to get running videos out, particularly in winter, particularly vlogs where you're talking to camera. So might have to be a little bit more musical videos for a while. I guess uh, spring's coming to the Northern Hemisphere now, so yeah, Northern Hemisphere guys are probably getting out and enjoying it. Oh dear, that's a nice feeling that one. Uh, there's a real steep section here. So uh, physically, pretty good condition at the moment. Uh, had a bit of a neck issue I had to go to the physio for recently. It was just affecting me when I wanted to look up, but uh, like a trap nerve or something, but it wouldn't be a problem. But the problem is I'm doing rock climbing with Joe and every time you're rock climbing, you spend the whole time looking up. So that's been fixed and uh, not too much of an issue now. So that's good. So physically I'm pretty, pretty good at the moment. Let's see how we go once I up the mileage. Although it is uh, a bit windy at the top, generally it's quite good here on a rainy day because uh, so much tree cover on this route. So I do recommend it for rainy days. Windy days are all right, as long as you have some wind protection. It can get pretty brutal at the top, but it also stops that rain blowing at you full speed. So it can be, it can be good in that respect. Oh, this anti-clockwise route is pretty steep, I tell you. I bet this doesn't come out on video, but it's quite steep. It's still going, but kind of almost a walk at this point. Trying to keep the heart rate down a bit, but not entirely succeeding. This up here is just one long slog, you know. You just gotta get in a easy gear, just keep grinding. Small steps. I haven't even got high cadence anymore, but small steps and just keep grinding. The top's coming up there, but. Oh, I can't quite see it. It's deceptively far away because you've got to go around the back of that hill first. So this time I'm uh, trying these cliff energy blocks. I've already tried spring energy, uh, can can canberry flavor. Uh, I've already tried, I've already tried uh, spring energy, GU blocks, tailwind. Now I'm trying this. Uh, I'll probably do a video in the near future comparing each one. Uh, just trying this one out today. So far, so good. I'll let you know in another video. You'll have to forgive the short selection. It's quite hard to, to film when you're self filming and you've only got a GoPro as well, so I can't do anything too fancy. So, this loop actually goes around the back of the hill uh, without going up on the grass, I believe. Anyway, on the map, I've never actually done it, but if you go that way, I'll go up here and continue up on the grass right over the top of those ridges over there. It's a bit steeper, and usually I have to walk most of this. Beautiful views up here. Okay, now we start the long down. Now you've got the other problem. You've got to protect your knees. Make sure you don't put too much pressure on them. It's quite easy to get injured on this downhill because it goes on for such a long time. It's not too steep, but it does go on for a good while. A good couple of four or five kilometers on I think it's four kilometers. And we are at 4.33 since starting. So it's like two and a half or something on the other side up. And then four on this way up. So this one's much longer but not steep. You don't get much of a view other than at the top. But it is a nice forest track. Oh, it's nice and easy runnable, it's not technical or anything like that, which is, makes a nice uh, relaxing run if you don't want anything 
You don't want to be worried about tripping over or anything. A little bit steep here, but it slackens off again near the bottom. You get bikes come up and down here as well, you've got to watch out for and listen out for. Especially the e bikes, they can be pretty fast, even on the uphill. Hey, look at this. Nice dappled light here. So, this way around, you want to go left. In the other direction, you want to turn right here. You don't want to go off to this water point. You want to head. Yeah, see, it's a sign. You want to head uh, straight down here. There's actually some bike tracks here as well. This one. I've never been mountain biking here. I don't think they're particularly well signed up. I don't know how hard they are, but I'm not a particularly strong mountain biker. I'll give it a try one day. One thing I uh, do want to say is thanks for everyone that subscribes or leaves a comment, thumbs up and so on. It's, uh, it's awesome. I do read all the comments and check everything, you know. It is awesome to see a few more people come along. Uh, the thing is, is that like, it takes a lot of time to make these videos and uh, a lot of effort and so on. And it's, it's good because, you know, the more people you know are actively consuming and the more effort is justified to put in. And, you know, I would like to put in more effort on some of them, but it's not really worth it if you're only getting like five or six views. So um, hopefully the video quality will go up slightly. Some of those first videos we put out, um, the first two or three, they're like five hours of editing, you know, it's a lot of work. Uh, I think I've got it down to like an hour and a half now, two hours or something like that. But um, it's more the filming time because it, when we go filming, even with a GoPro, um, it pretty much doubles how long the runs take. So we do it on a rest day, um, which works it works at the moment while we've got rest days and, and so on. But um, I would like to do a slightly higher quality video with like a DSLR and so on, and depth of field and slow motion and so on. Do it a little bit better, but um, it's just tricky because then you've got to carry a heavy camera. And filming running is particularly tricky with the batteries and um, getting the lighting. Even the light, you know, you can flare the camera out and you haven't always got a good ability to see if if the focus is working and so on so it's quite tricky to film running videos i appreciate how much effort the solomon team go to and the professional companies when they put an entire crew up in the mountains to do their videos it's a lot of work it's it's really tricky to do a good good video so you just try and do what you can with what you have um, these vlog ones are obviously a little bit easier but i try to limit these because it's just nice to chat to the people who subscribe and so on and let them know what you're up to so I'll do them from time to time, but uh, there'll be the odd Zwift video coming up soon as well, so there'll be some cycling training race videos and so on, especially when winter comes. We're only about a week or so until the clocks change, and then it's, then it's basically running in the dark after work and stuff, and not really sure how I'm going to film that, so I might have to just film the weekend recovery runs and long runs and so on, uh, which will be interesting, so I'll, I'll see how that goes. 5.91k, just on the first descent, uh, 491 ascent, so this is going to come out at about a thousand by the time I finish. Incidentally, if you uh, watched all of our videos, the video where I was talking about having a PLB and getting lost and so on, that was this, this route, the other way around, we're running up where I'm running down now. So uh, when you get to the top, clockwise, keep right, and if you're going anti-clockwise, keep left. Otherwise you can go off deep into the forest like I did last time. Um, I'll put some details about the, the elevation, distance and so on in the description. Um, but Battle Hill is a pretty well-known run in the Wellington area, if you're a trail runner. You see, you see quite a few other runners on this route. Have you seen any today, actually? There's a few other runs down at the farm at the beginning. I've seen a few people there, but we did start quite late today. Uh, very late, actually, for us. But um, yeah, it's just hard because the sun's up overhead now and it doesn't give as much shade as you normally get. Normally this route's really, really well protected from the sun. Incidentally, if you do have any questions that you want to answer or someone's opinion on or any ideas for a video or any runs in the Wellington area that you'd like to see, um, you know, if you're thinking about coming to this area for using running, just give me a shout. I'll get it filmed. I'll get a video up for you. Um, hopefully you've covered off most of the popular runs in the next few months, but uh, there are a few less known ones that I can start doing. Um, some longer efforts, 30, 40k ones, obviously. 
I can't do them too often because I'm not that good at long distance myself, but I, uh, I do need some long runs for this week, okay? Assuming it's going ahead. So uh, I'll be able to do some 20, 30s and so on every weekend. See how we go. But yeah, just leave comments and uh, you'll probably, in fact, you'll almost certainly get a reply. <laughs> okay, and that's the first loop done. And back down to the river. However, no rest of the wicked, we've got to go around again. So, here we go. Last climb, come on. This hill, it's brutal. I'm so glad it's not three times or something like that. I can just about do this twice, but it's, it breaks your will, you know. So much harder the second time. So much harder. Oh, just keep you think I'm barely running it now. Pretty much walking. Just walking for a little bit. If this was race day, I'd be walking all of this. Just trying to get used to running some of the steeper stuff. God, it's a hill. Absolute kicker. It's a really nice forest out here. It's really nice. So this is actually the day after last week's video, the uh, 10k one. Where do we go? Uh, oh, 10k around Makara was last weekend, so uh, it was yesterday, but it's last week's video. So uh, still carrying quite a lot of fatigue. There's a fair, fair bit of vert on Makara, but I always find when I run at someone else's pace, and I go with someone, even if they're slower than me, it's a lot harder, it takes a lot out of you. So, I'm really fatigued today. And it's real hot today as well. Oh, sun's full bore. There's a little bit of wind, but it's coming from behind this hill, so I only really get it at the top. Just at about 15 or so, 12 or 15 motorbikes go by, off-roading. It was not expected up here, but I suppose it's uh, allowed. Never seen that up here before, it was a bit unexpected. On the second day on now, that's pretty much all the up done. There's a little bit, a little hump to get back to the car, but it's tiny by comparison, so it's all downhill now, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Joe's getting a little bit faster this time. We did this, we did this route last weekend, and uh, she was further around each time we met up this time, so she's getting quicker, which is good to see. And she's going around once clockwise, I'm going twice anti-clockwise. Uh, usually it's about the same amount of time, but I think she's going to be a little bit quicker this time, so that's good. I should say, uh, the tourism industry in New Zealand's getting absolutely hammered by this coronavirus. Um, but if you were thinking about coming over for a race, Obviously you won't be able to at the moment, but when you uh, are able again, I do highly recommend if you're into trail running, the outdoors, mountain biking, any sort of extreme sport, um, the, New Zealand's one of the best places you can come to do that. And uh, I do highly recommend it. It's a real shame that a lot of people's holidays are being canceled and so on. We were supposed to be down in Queenstown in a, couple, uh, Queenstown in a few months time, but that's going to be canceled. So we, I kind of know what it's like. It's unfortunate though, because New Zealand's quite an expensive place to get to because we're out in the middle of nowhere and a lot of people's holidays are going to be ruined by this virus. So I do feel for you if one of you was thinking about coming out here for Tarawera or I suppose by Tarawera it might be okay again, but one of the other big races um, and it's been cancelled or whatever, then, and it does suck, you know. I see the Boston Marathon's been pushed back and a lot of marathons and so on being pushed off. But... Uh, yeah, I do recommend uh, coming out here if you if you get the chance to make another holiday plan because I can tell you the New Zealand tourism industry could really do with the, the people right now. They're forced to uh, lay off a bunch of people and it's going to be a bit of a bloodbath in the tourism industry. Sucks for those people. I must say, I do laugh when I see these motorbikes and four-wheel drives and stuff in New Zealand because they're always 
kitted up with every bit of gear you could possibly think of and doing like 300 meters off road or whatever and try, kitted up like they're doing the Dakar rally <laughs> always makes me laugh it's like really you're going across a one foot deep stream you know, I don't know about if you need a snorkel you know on your car you've got your motorbikes with panniers and everything it's like what are you doing it's like 10k to the car park like you know it's ridiculous but it does give me a good chuckle I must say oh it's not a beautiful fern <laughs> oh here we go again another 4k downhill if you like downhill running this is actually quite a nice nice way to go around because short sharp up but you can walk if you want and then a nice long down I, I, I try to avoid running too hard on the down because there's too much stress on the knees and so on I'd rather practice on the ups build the muscles up and then deal with the downs near a race time do some short specific race uh, downhills type stuff but um, I don't tend to train full speed downs in my base phase or anything I just go easy on the downs I, do, I used to but I used to find I got injured quite a lot so I tried to back off a bit I'm going over there down through the forest incidentally I should probably uh, do the whole like and subscribe thing but also uh, I should mention we do have an Instagram page we've actually got a website as well but it just links all of our Instagram and YouTube we've got a Facebook group as well that we're uh, just thinking about trying to put together like a local running group or something like that nothing too serious at the moment but yeah we're, uh, we do have some other contact points if you want to get in contact with us use the website and Facebook's a pretty good, uh, pretty good option Jo tends to police that pretty well <laughs> she's always answering comments and so on which is great hey unexpected Josie yeah it was great I didn't expect to meet Jo there she came back up for me <laughs> <laughs> Just finishing the uh, second loop. It's still there. They were there when I went out. <laughs> it's just Jimmy sitting there for about two hours. You are lazy, all of you lazy. Don't look at me like that, lazy. Hey. Over that last little bump, last little downhill back to the car now. How are you going, Joe? Okay. Shins hurting, but... Getting through. <laughs> a bit of a shit split. Right. Back to the farm. Oh, it's there now. So, we'll sign off here. Cheers for signing in, and uh, cheers for viewing our videos. Really appreciate it. We'll do another one, hopefully next week. And, uh, see ya.